This is Will Buchanan walking across the country on the Walk for Liberty. Today is September 11th, 2008, day 131. I imagine that given today's date, most of the news media across the country is talking about the events of September 11th, 2001, or what happened in the aftermath of it. That's just a guess though, because for a while now, I haven't deliberately watched, read, or listened to the news. I too would like to talk about today's date, but probably not in the way you're expecting. This morning, Brooke looked on the calendar and noticed that for today's date, it says Patriot Day. Which is interesting because there's already a Patriot's Day, which is mostly celebrated locally in Massachusetts. I guess whoever named today's holiday wanted to name it in the singular so that they wouldn't be confused. And they obviously named it because of the events of September 11th, 2001. But what do they even mean by Patriot Day? Did they intend to mean that the people who died in the World Trade Center or because of the other two plane crashes were somehow more patriotic than anyone else? Or is it just a propagandistic name, like, for example, the Patriot Act, intended to evoke a particular emotion but has nothing to do with patriotism whatsoever? And what does it even mean to be a patriot? I'd really like to know, because somebody recently left me a comment on YouTube accusing me of being unpatriotic. I think to most people today, being patriotic means to be loyal to your country. But what does that mean? And to answer that, what exactly is a country? As far as I can see, a country can be defined in three different ways. As a geographical landmass, as the people living within that landmass, or as the government which claims to have authority over the people within that landmass. I think we can safely rule out the first one, since it doesn't really make sense to be loyal to a geographical landmass. Likewise, I think we can also rule out the second, the people within that landmass. In the case of America, how could you be loyal to over 300 million people simultaneously? So then, that just leaves the third one, which is the government. So to most people today, possibly without their realizing it, if they haven't broken it down logically, being patriotic means to be loyal to the government. But would you really want to be loyal to an organization which claims to have authority over you and rules over virtually every facet of your life and which will throw you in jail if you don't follow its thousands or even tens of thousands of mandates, none of which you've agreed to? Does that sound right to you? But if being a patriot means being loyal to government, then that YouTube commenter was right. I certainly am not one nor do I want any part in being one. But can you think of another more historical group of patriots? Ones who, about 230 years ago, broke away from the country they were considered to have been part of, and thus were thought of as disloyal to the government. Of course, I'm referring to the patriots who broke away from England during the American Revolution. They were patriots to the ideas of freedom and liberty, and believe that each person is sovereign and should be able to live their life the way they want as long as they're not hurting anyone else. I consider myself a patriot in their vein, and that a true patriot is one who espouses and defends the principles of freedom and liberty. My name is Will Buchanan. And I am a patriot of liberty. Almost 20.8 miles today. And here are my coordinates.
This is Will Buchanan for blog.walkforliberty.com, signing off. Poor, lonely corn stalk, out all alone, probably grown just to produce ethanol, and now it's not even harvested.